Hi everyone, my name is Prashela and today we're going to be going through an example question um, from the AQA exam board on GCSE physics. This question is all about radiation, otherwise known as electromagnetic waves. So the first part of the question asks, what speed do all electromagnetic waves travel at? Well, you need to know that all electromagnetic waves travel at the same speed of light in air. So an electromagnetic wave in air travels at the same speed of light in air, which you may know is three times 10 to the power of eight meters per second. The second part of the question gives a statement. The sun emits ultraviolet rays which have a frequency of eight times 10 to the 14 hertz. We know that ultraviolet rays are a form of an electromagnetic wave. So we can apply the speed three times 10 to the eight to this question. The question actually asks, what is their wavelength? Well, we can apply the equation V equals F lambda. We know that we need to rearrange it to find wavelength because that is what the question asks. What is their wavelength? So if we make wavelength the subject of the equation, otherwise denoted as this Greek letter lambda, then we get lambda equals V over F. Now V we know is three times 10 to the eight, either from the first part of the question or just by simply knowing that electromagnetic waves travel at the same speed of light in air. We then divide it by the given frequency in the question, which is eight times 10 to the 14 Hertz. To find the wavelength, when we divide the two by each other, which is 3.75 times 10 to the minus seven, meters. So we know that this is a very short wavelength because it's on the right hand side of the spectrum as opposed to radio and microwaves which have a longer wavelength. So we can start kind of sense check our answer to make sure that it is a short wavelength. The third part of the question then asks you to state a difference between ultralight, ultraviolet light and microwaves. Well, I've just said the ultraviolet light has a much shorter wavelength than microwaves. If it has a much shorter wavelength, that means it has a much higher frequency due to V equals F lambda. So either of those um, suggestions would suffice in this question. You could also talk about the energy difference between ultraviolet light and microwaves. So gamma rays have the highest energy and radio waves and microwaves have the least energy. So because ultraviolet is on the same kind of end of the spectrum as gamma rays, we know that it has a much higher energy than microwaves do, which is on the other end of the electromagnetic spectrum.